Weather from where you live. Well, our soils continue to consistently warm up. They use the 10 a.m. soil temperatures, and I've averaged them each week, and these are taken from Purdue University at the Ag Farm. And you'll notice the week of March 23rd, 30 degrees with the bare soil temperature, 4 inches deep, 36 on the week of the 29th. But notice recently how the week of the 17th and this week they've been running in the mid-50s. And really the, the key line for corn planting is above 50 degrees. So a lot of farmers are getting busy now with field work, and it's going to be a good weekend to do that. Dry, breezy to windy. The windiest day will be on Sunday, gusts to 35 miles an hour. But a warm weekend on the way. We've got two main waves of showers and thunderstorms Monday. Weakening around Monday morning. Perhaps some severe weather Monday afternoon, Monday evening, and perhaps even some severe weather on Tuesday. But overall, Monday through Wednesday, one to two inches of rainfall. And I wouldn't be a bit surprised if there are a couple locations that get a little over two inches of rain out of this. There is the big storm off to the west. And what this will do is kind of really strengthen up here in Nebraska and Iowa and then start to slowly weaken but wobble southeastward towards our area. But what it will do is bring multiple rounds of significant severe weather from the plains all the way to the southeast. And we may actually get in on at least a little bit of that severe weather. Tonight we're in the mid to upper 40s, a few clouds around. Tomorrow, good looking day, a little breezy, but highs mid 60s, Winamax 67, Rochester. But we'll be in the 70s from Frankfort and Lafayette over to Attica and Crawfordsville. Same thing on Sunday. We'll be in the 70s at Lafayette and Fowler. 69 in Winnemac, 69 at Rochester, and 71 degrees at Frankfort and Kirkland. Tonight, uh, this particular computer model does show uh, that weakening, very broken cold front swinging kind of through our northern counties. And it wants to pop rain. I really don't think that's going to happen. I think we'll get a few clouds out of this, but that's it. Mostly sunny tomorrow. This is tomorrow evening. Still a good amount of sun and then mostly clear tomorrow night. But you will notice on futurecast that the clouds will tend to increase on Sunday. This is noon and this is later in the afternoon. A few more clouds starting to come in. And as a matter of fact, by late Sunday night, whatever is left of this big severe weather outbreak that will occur from Iowa all the way down to perhaps the Gulf Coast will move in Monday morning. It'll be weakening, but it still could produce a few showers and thunderstorms. But then Monday afternoon evening, we may see the storms refire in our area. They may be scattered. They may kind of gel into a few little clusters or small line segments in our area. Severe weather threat, wind, hail, perhaps an isolated tornado or two, and then perhaps even Tuesday with this cold pocket aloft. Can't even rule out a little severe weather then before we get a few showers Wednesday and it all winds down. 70 forecast, 71 Tuesday, but much cooler Wednesday with a couple lingering showers with 54 degrees for the high temperature, 54 on Thursday, and 66 starting to warm up on Friday with a good amount of sun. But hey, three good weekends in a row, and check that out. Well, counting today, five days at or above 70. Don't tell the boss, but you must be getting a raise, huh? Uh, evidently. <laughs> well, we're happy with the yeah. forecast. All right, yeah, thanks, sure. Well, I spent half the game last night.